This video will explain how to program option codes with a wireless remote controller. We will make a quick summary of which codes can be programmed. Be aware that qualified technicians only are allowed to program codes. Wrong programming can cause failure of the system. There are different ways on how to program. You can do it with SNET, wired remote controllers, and in this case wireless remote controllers. Firstly we can program product option codes. These codes contains model type, capacity, and other specific information. Every unit has its own product code. Secondly, we have the installation option code. This code depends on the installation condition. With this code you can add for example a drain pump, external temperature sensors or switch off beeping noise. We also have an installation option code too. This option code is an additional option code for fine tuning. You can use it for example fine tuning auto changeover. If you need to change an indoor unit address manually, you need to use the address option code. You can change indoor and outdoor unit address for upper level controller. Last option code is the short option code. This code is to change one single bit instead of programming the complete code. Now we need to enter the service menu of the controller. Remove the battery cover at the back. Once removed, take out of the batteries. Make sure that the display is blank. Normally this will take a few seconds. Push the temperature buttons, plus and minus, at the exact same time. While you put the batteries in the controller, hold the buttons firmly, and don't let go until all batteries are placed. As soon as the batteries are placed, you can let go of the buttons. If everything went correctly, you should see two zeros, on, and auto. This means you entered the service menu. What you see now, is a page number, and each page contains two adjustable segments. In total we have 10 pages, and 20 adjustable segments. You can swipe through the pages, by simply pressing the mode button. If you want to change the right segment on each page, please press the fan up button. If you want to change the left segment, please press the fan down button. Let me show you an example of how to set an option installation code. In this case we want to activate, centralized control. Be aware that segment 1, 7, 13, and 19 are page options, and they will be skipped automatically. Please change the first segment to value 2. Press the mode button once, to go to the second page that includes segment 4 and 5. Centralized control can be switched on by setting segment 5 to value 1 in the installation option code. Once set, point the remote controller to the indoor unit and press the on-off button once. If there will be a change in the code, the unit will beep once. Press it again, and you will hear a double beep. This means you have activated centralized control. Important note. Make sure you've checked the current option code before programming. There is a possibility that you will overwrite other segments. For more information about option code, consult the installation manual. Thank you for watching.